Hello my dear students and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I will be teaching on aromatic compounds. Now, aromatic compounds are basically benzene and benzene derivatives. Okay, now benzene is an aromatic compound and it is sp 2 hybridized. Okay, all of these I have done this in my video on benzene chemistry introduction. So you do have to watch that. Now, benzene and benzene derivatives are aromatic compounds. Now, this is what I mean. This is the structure of benzene. Okay, this structure of benzene. Okay, benzene have different derivatives like the likes of a benzene attached to a CH3 group. So whenever you see something like this, CH3 is called methyl. So whenever methyl and benzene meet, they form what called methyl benzene. They form methyl benzene. Methyl benzene is also called toluene. Okay, so this is a benzene derivative. Now you can see it is mono substituted because one hydrogen in this benzene structure is replaced by just one functional group. Now we have other mono substituted benzene derivatives like the likes of a benzene group attached to CH2. Now you can see this methyl benzene has lost one hydrogen. So what is this called? It is called benzyl. It is called benzyl. Now a benzene group attached to just CH. Now you can see it has lost another hydrogen. So what will you call this? It is called benzyl. Okay. Now. This is another benzene derivative, okay, and it is mono substituted, just one carbon. It is called benzo. So, all of these are examples of mono substituted benzene. Now, let's go further and talk about other mono substituted benzene, like the likes of a benzene group attached to NH2. What is it called? It is called amino benzene. Amino benzene, also called aniline. Okay, amino benzene is called aniline, it's used for making drugs. Okay, other mono substituted benzene, like the likes of this one, a benzene attached to COH group, which is called benzoic acid. It is called benzoic acid. Okay, it is called benzoic acid. Now, a benzene group attached to SO3H group. What is it called? It's called benzene sulfonic acid. Okay? It's called benzene sulfonic acid. So, all of these are examples of mono substituted benzene derivatives. Now, talking about di substituted benzene derivatives, we see the likes of a benzene group now attached to. 2CH3 group. Now we know that the CH3 group is called methyl. Okay, methyl is an alkyl group. And what's an alkyl group? An alkyl group is the derivative of alkane that has lost one hydrogen. You know, the first member of alkane is called methane, and this is methane. Now, whenever you lost one hydrogen from methane, you get methyl. Okay, this is called methyl. Now, methyl being two in a benzene derivative is called xylene. Okay, and xylene is an example of a di substituted benzene derivative. Now let's go over and talk about others, like the likes of a benzene group attached to 2COH group. Okay, normally whenever benzene attached to a COH group, it is called benzoic acid. It is called benzoic acid. But now we have 2COH group. Now what will you call it? You call it Terephthalic acid. Terephthalic acid. It is called terephthalic acid. Okay? It is called terephthalic acid. So, all of these are examples of di substituted benzene derivatives. 
Now, talking about tri-substituted benzene derivatives, we see the likes of, for tri-substituted benzene derivatives, we see the likes of um, this. Okay, when we have 3 OH group, it is called pyrogalol. It is called pyrogalol. Okay, this is an example of a tri substituted benzene derivative. Now, benzene is aromatic, and we have examples of poly aromatic compounds like the likes of. Now, this is the benzene group, it's the benzene structure rather, okay attached to another benzene structure. What is it called? It is called naphthalene. Naphthalene. And naphthalene is also called camphor. Naphthalene is also called camphor. Now, whenever we have three benzene group, three benzene group is called atracine. Three benzene group is called atracine. Okay? Whenever we have these Okay, and another one coming down, it is called phenatrine. So all of these are examples of polyaromatic compounds, polyaromatic compounds, and they are all benzene derivatives, and they are all benzene derivatives. And remember, benzene, it is sp2 hybridized, and benzene has a sweet smell okay and it is colorless benzene is colorless so all of these are examples of the benzene derivatives thanks for watching